This is Steven, and this question is testing your knowledge of different types of numbers. So the question is asking, what type of number could not result from the difference of two irrational numbers? So difference meaning subtraction. So we have two numbers subtracted from each other, but they're both irrational. So remember, rational numbers are anything that can be represented as a fraction or a ratio. So pretty much any numbers such like 1, 1 half, 3, and so on, because these all can be represented as fractions. So like 1 over 1, 3 over 1, even like negative 30, because that can be negative 30 over 1. So those are all rational numbers. An irrational, or irrational number, remember that ir as a prefix means not rational, means it cannot be represented as a fraction. And usually people use pi as an example of that because it is a number that continues on and on and on even with decimal places and never repeats so that's what we're dealing with here so let's looking let's look at our answer choices so answer choice a is referring to an integer and an integer is all positive negative numbers including zero that are not decimals such as negative five zero and 5. Those are integers. So if we subtract those, these are not irrational numbers because these can all be represented as fractions in some way, including 0. So answer choice A can't be the result of that difference between two irrational numbers. The same thing is true for a rational number. These are also rational numbers. So answer choice B is not correct. Answer choice D could be correct because if we have two irrational numbers, the numbers are always repeating, likely the difference between those is going to be the same where the answer choice will just keep on repeating. So because there's a possibility of that, we're simply left with C, the complex number. Now another way of quickly identifying that a complex number cannot be the result of the difference between two rational numbers is that a complex number has a real part and a fake part or imaginary. This italicized i stands for the square root of negative 1, which is an imaginary number because there's no such thing as the square root of a negative value. So that's what I mean when I say that it has a real part. So this real part could be 5, it could be 7, it could be whatever, plus a fake part. So 2 times the square root of negative 1. And no irrational number looks like this value. So it must be C.